Let's take a look at Border, a small-sized map designed with many destructible surfaces. This map has two floors, the first floor and the second floor with its two balconies. Located on the first floor, the waiting room is a central junction of the map. It provides access to the rest of the first floor as well as to the exterior. That said, because of the multiple entry points and lines of sight, it's also very easy to get spotted here. The east stairs provide access to the second floor. Note the mezzanine located off the second floor's main hallway. It offers a view of the ground floor. You can also repel from the roof, but it's very dangerous because you can be quickly taken out from there. From the waiting room, we head into the main lobby, where we find the central stairs, which lead to the second floor. Moving west, we breach through a destructible wall and access the supply room. Note the window to the north, which looks onto the exit hallway. To the south are the supply corridor and detention area, which can be accessed from the outside. Moving east, we enter the customs inspection, which can also be accessed from the main lobby, and then the customs desk. This small room provides many opportunities for cover, thanks to its glass window. Further east, we breach into the passport check, and we finally circle back into the waiting room. Let's move north through a window into the tellers, which can also be accessed from the outside through this wall. From here, we head into the bathroom and through a destructible wall into the workshop and server room. Note that this is an important area of the first floor because it could contain multiple objective sites. Note also the two hatches on the ceiling that are accessible from the second floor. Moving west, we breach into the ventilation room and then into the exit hallway, which offers a view to the supply room window we saw earlier. This brings us back to the central stairs, then back through the main lobby into the waiting room. Let's use the east stairs to access the second floor. Before continuing our tour, you'll want to pay attention to the two exterior balconies on the map. They provide important rotation opportunities. At the top of the east stairs, note the two doors that lead to the exterior balconies and the access to the main hallway, which gives a great view of the waiting room. Also note the windows across the gap. Moving south, we enter the break room and security room area, also called CCTV. This is one of the most important areas of the second floor, with its destructible floor providing a view into the customs inspection located below. Also note the door in the break room, which leads to a balcony outside. You'll want to pay attention to the destructible wall sections. Breaking them creates a dangerous line of sight into the waiting room located below. What's more, the other destructible walls in the break room and security room can allow you to control the main hallway by creating lethal lines of sight. Let's breach out onto the west balcony. From here you can access the northern part of the second floor. The south balcony brings us all the way back to the east stairs and back into the main hallway. From here we move north into the offices. Observe the dome overhead, accessible from the roof. Projectiles can be thrown from there. Let's head into the archives. Note the hatch on the floor. It leads to the workshop below. West of the archives are the L-shaped armory lockers. We breach through a destructible wall to get to the armory desk. From here, you can also access the main hallway with the central stairs we saw earlier, which lead to the main lobby on the first floor. Back through the archives, we exit towards the north balcony and east balcony, and back towards the east stairs. Border has three spawn points. The first one is the east vehicle entrance. The second, located to the south, is the valley spawn point. And the third is the West Vehicle Exit.
Overall, the map has many destructible walls and floors. Border offers many line of sight opportunities. The security room can allow you to control the second floor. Remember, the balconies are exterior areas, so any defenders venturing outside will be detected. There's no time to waste, operators. Border is waiting for you.